<laughs> oh. oh god! Sneaky! Fuck! Hello again, RuneScape. Zach here. Hope you had a good holiday season. Hope your new year is off to a great start, as in better than my own clan general trolling me for a fake Elijah. Sneaky Jones. I'm going to get you, buddy. Anyways, guys, hope everyone's doing great. So I went with Sneaky and Lucky Assume, part of the Slay Clan, to Corp. We were just having some fun before Sneaky died. One of two times right there. Um, anyways, no, we were having a good time until we eventually got crashed by, I don't know, some group of guys. They weren't rude or anything, but, you know, we ended up having kind of a war. Some of our clan members, Guav, uh, Jace, they came to help out. It was fun. I enjoyed it. This is about 2.30 in the morning on early Tuesday morning, so I was kind of delirious at this point. No big drops. A couple of spirit shields here and there. Right there. I think Guav gets one. It was a lot of fun. I like when the clan comes together to unite at Corp. It's always good. Um, but, yeah, we had a good time. Uh, fortunately, no sigils, though. And guys, I'll mention this. If you're watching this and if you're in Slay Clan, and I'm sure you already know if you're witnessing the CC every day, there's always someone willing to corp. And usually the Dragon Warhammer pools requirement is there. But if you have that, there's always somebody willing to go. So it's a lot of fun. And it is making it really hard to break my corp addiction, you know, when raids are coming up and trying to skill. Anyways, here's some hard clue loots. I didn't get anything from that one. I was hoping I would. But for this one, I got Zami Dehyde Boots. The first good reward from a hard clue I've had in a long time. Uh, they actually sold for 1.3 mil, which was nice because that gave me a little bit extra boost in the cash department. So aside from the usual corp content, I did go Sarah with Gideon and Lucky Korean, and this was the drop that we got, or one of the drops we got, Sarah Doman's Light. And I've never actually used this. I know what it does. I think I want to buy one like as soon as I finish editing this video because why would you not want to have that Zami room fully illuminated? It really does make everything look a lot clearer. So I think I'm going to go do that. So guys, that's really what's been going on this last week, trying to get one last big drop to boost the bank before raids come out in two days. If you're in RuneScape, you are mostly, probably, I mean, most likely, you're probably hyped for raids coming out in two days on Thursday, which leads me to what I want to talk to you guys about next. I will be doing, obviously, a Thursday update episode for this Thursday, because Rage is probably the biggest update to hit Old School Rage. I don't like to exaggerate, but this is probably the biggest update to hit it since the initial release. I would I would say this is probably bigger than God Wars, in a sense that this is going to be something completely new that Old School RuneScape never had. So I am very excited about it. It's going to be a little tricky to juggle trying to enjoy the content, trying to get the drops while they're brand new and worth a lot, and also trying to record content for you know that video on Thursday, and then also for some guides probably into early next week. Or maybe this weekend if I really decide I want to devote some time to figuring out how everything works and letting you guys know about it. So if you have any kind of suggestions about it, I'm, I'll be honest. I'm, I'm kind of stressing a little bit and how to gather the most content. But also, I want to enjoy the update. You know, this is something brand new, um, something the clan is really excited for. And like I said, a lot of other RuneScapes, RuneScapers are excited for. So I hope we can. I hope I can find a good balance of, wow, this is fun, I'm doing it with the clan, enjoying raids. But then also, you know at the same time compiling some footage for you guys so other people can see what's going on and also if they want to see a big drop then they can see that too um that being said it's going to be a, a weird crazy day on thursday i do work i won't be back until the afternoon so probably the drops will have lowered in price from crazy high amounts to probably still pretty good loot and i bet a lot of my clan will probably still have will probably still be learning the mechanics of every room and really, Friday is probably going to be the biggest day for me in Raids, because I have that whole day off, and I will probably be doing this most of the day on Friday, and that's probably where a lot of the content will be coming from. So that means, I'm thinking probably a Saturday release video, maybe a compilation, and I may throw in some guides or some other content to kind of help you figure out what's going on if you're still uh, learning some of the rooms. I know I'll be learning it too. Every everyone's going to be kind of on an even playing field to start, so that'll be a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, this, is, this video is going to be a little bit shorter than the last one. Because i got to get back to skilling. i got to get back to doing raids pre-prep, or raids prep, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that being said, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope Sneaky Jones doesn't kick me from the clan after he sees this, although no promises with that guy. I mean, if he's, if he's willing to stoop to that level to do that, then who knows what he'll do once he watches this video. You know. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a great rest of the week, and I will see you in the next one. Peace!